is up MFers, welcome back to another exciting video. As you guys can see, I am in the middle of my hometown of Omaha, Nebraska. Still without a boat, so we're not going to take the boat out and do any fishing in the boat today, but that's okay because I am blessed with a bunch of little tiny inner city urban fisheries, not necessarily great fisheries. Some of them have giants in them. You've seen me catch in the past, so there, there is some potential. Uh, and we're right here. I don't know if you can see there, there's a waterfall. I don't know. I've seen this one from the road several times. Gummy Worm Boy pointed me in this direction. He said he's caught a couple fish here in the past. So we're going to start on this lake right here. We probably are going to end up jumping around to a couple other different lakes because some of these lakes are pretty tough. Probably what you guys are faced with if you're on the bank, you're fishing a lot of these urban fisheries and stuff. But I got something super, super exciting for you guys before we get started with today's video. So if you guys watch my videos, I'm sure you see me throwing Texas rigs a whole lot. And every single time I'm throwing a Texas rig, I am using a slip sinker, a worm weight as a lot of people call them. 100% of the time tungsten. I I've, don't think I've ever even filmed a video with lead or used lead the last like five to 10 years of my fishing. Because even though tungsten is a little bit more expensive, the material is so much more dense than lead, it transmits bottom uh, and bites so much better. So I use tungsten with every single Texas rig, Carolina rig, punch rig, whatever that I'm using. Well, as I told you guys a couple weeks ago, I partnered up with a company called Wu Tungsten. Now, Wu Tungsten is an American company. They have awesome tungsten products at a much cheaper price than many places you're going to find online. And they're helping the MFers out with a little promo code WOOMFER. So W O O M F E R. We'll get you tungsten about as cheap as you're going to find it anywhere online. But they took it a step further. They went down and created a whole new page with MFR only sales products. So they created their own Millican Fishing page for you guys so you can go buy cheap discounted tungsten at an even higher discounted rate and a couple other things as well. Well, they actually just sent me a package. I got this package right here in the mail. I'm about to show you guys what they sent me and then we're gonna do something really fun I'm gonna give a bunch of these items in this right here away to you guys. So you're gonna have to wait till the end of the video. I'm gonna tell you how you can win these, but let's check out what they sent me here. All right, so these items are all from that special Melican Fishing extra discounted sale page that you guys can go check out. So we got, let's see, we got Wu Tungsten Buff, White Buff, we got America Buff, we got, ooh, I like that one, Purple and Blue and Black Buff with the Wu Tungsten Fish on it, and another buff. So they sent four buffs. That's like a, a cool metallic black looking, looking deal. And then of course, a whole bunch of tungsten weights just like they're known for so we got this uh this finesse kit it's got a bunch of different finesse weights in it we got one ounce weights awesome for punching and deep fishing drop shot weights yeah they make about a little bit of everything there's a different style of drop shot weight we got half ounce tungsten weights we got another one ounce. i told him i was like i need some one ounce tungsten weights we got a lot of mats around here so these guys are gonna be perfect for that they got some peg stoppers so whole bunch of peg stoppers in there got some eighth ounce weight they put in some of these bead things too these are cool you can put them on a carolina rig you can straighten out a texas rig with them they're a really really cool product and last but not least we got some more half ounce weights so you guys know i love to give back to you guys the mfers you're the best fishing fans in the entire fishing industry so let's give some of this stuff away uh, i have a ton of tungsten weights so let's see this is what we're gonna do we're gonna give away Let's give away some half ounce weights. Let's give away some one ounce weights. Let's give away some peg stoppers. Give away some drop shot baits. And let's give away two of these buffs. I'm not sure which ones you guys would like the most. I want to keep this one because it looks really, really cool. So you'll have to go on the page and order that one. But how about uh, how about this white one and this, uh, this America buff? We'll give that away. So you can get three packs of tungsten sinkers, peg stoppers, two buffs. I'm gonna give this away at the end of the video. So I'm gonna go do some fishing, some pond hopping, hopefully teach you guys how to use some of this tungsten stuff right here, and then check back at the end of the video and I'll show you how you guys, one of you lucky MFers can go win that. But seriously, click the link at the top of the description right now, go check out that special page Wu Tungsten made, especially for you MFers, and they're, they're like the best prices you can get tungsten anywhere. Anyways, I'm gonna get a couple baits rigged up. Let's go hit the, uh, the waterfall lake right up there. Let's go. All right, here's the old pond situation. Man, I brought way, way too much tackle with me. Just had a giant thunderstorm roll through, so that's probably gonna affect a lot of what we're doing today. Uh, probably gonna be some more muddy water. Probably should find some areas where the water's running in. Kinda like this though. Good good size little inner city pond right here. See if we can catch some slaunches. I'm starting with the popping frog because I, I don't know, I just love topwater fishing. Oh, perfect, there's giant carp right here. And I do have the bow in the truck, but yeah, you can't uh, can't shoot a bow within city limits. I think the Game and Parks Commission probably frown upon that. 
since apparently those dickheads watch all my videos and try to find everything I do wrong, we, we probably shouldn't be firing bows within city limits. Oh, hey, what's up, Nebraska and Parks Commission? Hope you guys are enjoying my videos. Good God. <laughs> oh, I wish I could say that was a bass, but it was just a giant carp. It scared the hell out of me. About to poop my pants. First lake was a myth, no luck there. I think it was super, super muddy. I don't know, they, they just, they, they weren't biting. I don't know what the deal was sometimes. That just happens, but we're on to another lake where we've cut many slaunches in the past. Unfortunately, it looks like everyone else that watches my videos in Omaha is at this lake too. You dickheads aren't supposed to watch my videos and watch me catch slaunches and then go, go burn up. No, I'm just kidding. You guys can, uh, you guys can go fish wherever you want to fish. Love you all for watching the videos. But yeah, this is the, uh, another, inner city lake hopefully we can pluck a couple out of here i don't know we'll just have to see i know what lives here though and it's uh it's big so let's get one of those all right i think i'm gonna start with the old frog because water looks a little bit cleaner here and uh definitely slick slick calm so i think we might have to be a little bit stealthy i actually brought the slammer and the rat along too since this dude apparently gets a lot of pressure in this little lake we might have to pick up something a little sneaky like the old rat you know what guys, my shoes are completely wet, stinky, destroyed anyway. Let's just, let's do a little bit of wading today. Oh yeah, that's the stuff. I couldn't even like get down, this stuff's like over my head how tall these weeds are right here. There's an animal of some type up there. Don't really want to mess with that. That's an angry one. He was thick in that grass. Oh, that's a big one. That's a big one. Come here, dog. I ain't gonna hurt you. We're gonna let you go. Yep, there's a bass in there somewhere. Man, I got pretty lucky. Did I forget? I hooked him in the nose, in the top of the head. Look how short and fat that fish is. Totally badass. Catching him. Thick, thick stuff. Let him go in the water. <laughs> badass it's like impossible to get down to this spot so naturally i had to come test it out had to wade in wreck my shoes even more they were already wrecked whatever through this little frog right on top of this grass mat right here and ba boom it's so sick freaking love it it's kind of starting to worry they weren't gonna eat top water because we've had so much freaking thunder and lightning the last couple days and this morning which oftentimes does ruin a top water bite but i didn't seem to care Good God. Reasonably sure that bass right there just blew up on my line. Maybe I need to downsize to uh, something that's the size of line. Oh, that's a big one. I can tell by the slurpage that is a big one. I just saw a giant swirl right there, so I threw up there. Whew, come on. This lake. God, are you serious, dude? This lake seriously has the biggest freaking frogs like in North America. Gross. Dude, come on. Stop grabbing my frog with your frogness. Get out of my life. There he is. Oh God, that's a big one. Yes. I knew that one was big because he freaking just came up and slurped it. Oh my God, it's a giant. Oh. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Look at that one, guys. Look how that fish right there is built. That's a freaking six-pounder right there. And he's only 19 inches. Oh, my God. That is a stout pond fish. Look at that thing. That is insane. Look how fat that fish is. Oh. That is a football Think he's been eating some bluegills in here? Well, guess there's only one thing to do, and that's get this big, freaking mean beast back in this tiny pond. <laughs> she wasn't done yet. How big is a fish that's like 23 inches gonna be? Potential like state record? 
unbelievable. That was so sick. Wow, that's easily the biggest frog fish I've caught this year. There she is right there going back home. What's crazy is that thing bit so freaking light. I don't know if you saw that bite, but he like slurped it, just barely touched it once. And luckily I didn't set the hook. I saw that he didn't have it. And so I twitched a couple more times and he just sucked it in. She, I should say. This is actually the lake where I caught that giant ice fishing earlier this year in, in, in the winter, obviously. And he was probably 22 to 23 inches. If that fish was built like the one I just caught, I can't even imagine how much it would weigh. <laughs> yep that's a freaking donkey also that looks like the same freaking fish oh my god are you serious <laughs> and it's not the same fish at all but it is another five pounder i was fishing this frog super slow and methodically over the grass mat and i was like screw it let's make it look erratic let's pick up the pace on it make it look not natural at all but maybe try to get a reaction strike and that's what we did oh my god what a freaking beautiful fish another absolute tank on the frog these are the fattest freaking fish i think i maybe have ever caught in the summer there she goes like i'm not gonna lie for a second i thought that was the same fish i just caught it was not as you can tell if you go back look at the previous fish she was built a little different that was unbelievable that's that just goes to show you man fishing these pressured lakes like this you got to be on top of your game willing to change things make different presentation adjustments to be able to get more bites because the first big one i just caught i had to work so slow and methodically and so that's what i've been doing the last like 20 minutes the first cast i changed that up and start twitching it really really fast over the top of the water boom Got a giant reaction strike, absolutely choked it. I started fishing the spot right here because as you can see right behind me, we got this water coming out of this tube. It's a little too shallow to fish right there. I saw some bluegill there, obviously. You can see the bottom, but I figured I'd come down to this end of the lake because there's a bunch of people fishing at the other end and because this water coming in from this big storm, that's always a good place to check, especially when you got a situation like this where it didn't muddy the lake up a bunch. Water still has really good clarity to it, probably two to three foot visibility. And they are obviously here and biggins too. Frog setup's the same one I've been using. I don't think I'll ever use another frog rod. This is the Six Cents Lux 7.5 Extra Heavy Flip and Frog Rod, 65 pound braid. Regular old froggy, and it is winching them out of this thickness. This is this is crazy. This is uh, those were two incredible fish for a, a little pressured inner city pond like this. Got a serious case of the uh, sloshy shoe going on, but you guys know I will sacrifice any pair of shoes to get out and catch some daggone slaunches. And catch some slaunches is what we did. I cannot believe the freaks living in the grass mat. And I will take that any freaking day of the week. This not having a boat thing is not working out too badly for me the last couple days. Now, unfortunately, sun came out. We got post frontal stuff, so I threw around a Senko swim jig. Threw the rat around a little bit even the last hour or so and nothing. So we're gonna wrap this up, call it a day. And I'm sure a lot of you guys are, are wondering how you can win that awesome package from Wu Tungsten. So let's go give that away. All right, so you guys wanna win that prize package from Wu Tungsten, those neck buffs and all those tungsten weights. Very, very simple. Three very easy steps we use every single time I do a giveaway. Step number one, go hit the thumbs up button. Step number two, drop a comment down below. I want you guys to comment what video you want to see next from me, myself, Melican Fishing. Step number three, go subscribe to Melican Fishing. You have to subscribe to be eligible to win this. And now I got people driving a Mercedes behind me wondering why the hell I'm talking to a camera in their front lawn. Sorry, lady, it's just what I do. Two days from now, I'm going to pick a winner for this video. I'm not gonna wait a whole week. Two days from now, in this video description, right down there, it'll say giveaway winner. And if you won, it'll say your name. How surprising is that? The way I'm gonna pick that winner is with a random comment generator. So I'm gonna go down, have it pick a random comment, but I'm gonna click on your profile. Make sure you're subscribed to Melican Fishing. If you're not, it's gonna go to the next person that it picks. But if you are, I'm gonna go ahead and send out that package from Wu Tungst. But once again, go hit the link down below. Check out that awesome page, that custom mf or page Wu tungsten is put together for you guys and when you order use woo m effer at checkout to save even more money basically you guys are getting like free tungsten and and no other fishing fans are getting that so go check them out and, and go pick up that frog rod because that thing is an absolute beast and it was a good old roots tour you know getting out on a pond wrecking some shoes wading in some some inner city stuff 
and catching some slaunches in, in the slop on frogs. I Seriously, you cannot freaking beat that. I've had so many good days out fishing in a boat, offshore and stuff. But when I can get back to what I grew up doing fishing and hitting some of these little tiny ponds on the bank, I seriously freaking love it. But thank you guys so much for watching this video. I'm out of here. I'll catch you very soon. Peace. I'm not sorry. I can't help this love like mine. <laughs> I'm not sorry. I can't stop with a love like mine.